So now I'm going to mention that invoice number is A1, amount. Let me take amount as uh, $800. Invoice amount is $800. Okay. Invoice information entered at three levels, header level, line level, and also distributions. Line level, we can go for specify the accounting combination. Now what system is showing? It is showing error message here. What is that? You cannot enter the invoice lines because the invoice header is incomplete. Enter the required information in the invoice header before enter into the line. Header level, some of the information we have not entered. But I have entered all the information, all mandatory fields here. Go to the tab here, accounting tab. Here we are supposed to mention accounting date. Accounting date. But uh, this date should take a system automatically as system date. Okay, why it is uh, not taking and the reason is very simple. It, it's one of the important question also in the interview point of view. Whenever we are working with account payables implementation for a particular business unit, now we are working for this business unit. Very first time we are implementing account payables. We added account payables roles as well as data access and we are able to enter all the information. And when I try to enter into the lines, now we are getting the message here. You cannot enter the invoice lines. What could be the reason? The reason is very simple. Some of the mandatory fields we have not entered. We wanted to verify what are those mandatory fields. Okay. So what we have to do, go to the tab here, accounting tab. Uh, generally, what happened, if you open the page, invoice space looks like this in the initial stage. We'll find only a few important fields, but I would like to view all the fields at invoice header level. We know that three levels, headers, lines, and distributions. Click on this header level, show more, and I could see that in accounting, here it is, accounting date is mandated. But generally, this accounting date should come automatically. I don't want to enter this. It should take automatically system date as a accounting date. Then why it's not taking? It's very simple. You have to verify the accounting payables periods, whether it's opened or not for the current month. Now go to task list. There is option here, payables periods. Payables periods. While working with the ledger, we did in our previous sessions, uh, GL periods we have opened. We were able to create a journal successfully and post it. But when we are working with account payables, obviously we are supposed to open the account payables period first. Go to manage accounting entries. The moment when I go to here, system is showing that this is what the ledger you are associated. Click on this ledger and what system is showing that no periods open so far now select the period which period you are going to do that september press ok now system is showing that uh, this september 23 is the initial period for this it's okay no problem we would like to continue from september 23 let's refresh here Internally, program has submitted. Process is nothing but a program to open the accounts payable periods. Where do we verify that program? Yes, September period is open status. Fine. Generally, if there is any issue or if it's taking some time, what we have to do is go to Navigator, Tools menu, Scheduled Processes. Make sure that you are an employee role. Your employee role is required to go to the scheduled process. In scheduled processes, I can find the process name. Open payables accounting period successfully completed. Okay, now we'll try to create an invoice here. Let's go for invoices. Now click this task, create invoices here. And now selecting the business unit. 
supplier name select so and so supplier and click show more generally it's not required every time see you got accounting data automatic and you got liability which is from common options from payables and procurement enter invoice number amount 800 dollars standard invoice we are going to create let's go to lines enter line amount complete 800 dollars enter the accounting code combination here it is we'll choose this code combination Can find the same. Now, this is how we will be able to create an invoice. Now, go for validate the invoice. System is going to verify whatever the information we have entered for this invoice at header level line level and distributions it's going to be valid or not now it's validated successfully if required we'll go with approvals otherwise we'll create account approvals are not enabled for this business unit that's a different concept about the approvals now it's it's going to be an accounting accounts are not created let's go to create accounts there are two options for creating the accounts in account payables. One is uh, account in draft. So those accounts will be created in draft mode and we can go for either rollback or finalize. Let's go for final accounts. Post ledger means system will create accounts as well as post this accounting entries to GL also. Now system has created accounting entries successfully. We can find this expenses a debit liabilities credit it means we got 800 dollars cost of furniture into our company and we are supposed to make the 800 dollars to our supplier debit means what comes in credit means what goes out so we got 800 dollars cost of the furniture into our company and we are supposed to make the payment. It's a liability. Still, payment is not done. Payment is not done. We are supposed to make the payment. Okay. So this is how we have to rectify in case if we get any error message while working with the invoice here. Okay. Thank you. Yes, guys, is clear everybody? Any any doubts here? Please. How to create an invoice right now? We created invoice. We have validated approved created accounts and transferred accounts to gl also now we just wanted to view the accounting information in gl
Now invoice is validated, approved, create accounting entries and transfer entries. Once we create accounting entries and transfer to GL, we wanted to view this accounting entries in GL module. How we can view the accounting entries in GL? So in account payables model, once we go for this status, what system is showing here? Accounted, and we can find accounting entries, right? We can expand this accounting uh, entries, both debit and credit. Now what system is showing? In this accounting period, journals has been generated, and this is your journal batch name, and this is journal entry name, GL transfer date. In case, if the sequence number is generated for your accounts, we can also find a sequence number and sequence name. Sequence number and sequence name, both we can find. So right now, we got a journal entry name, right? So we can choose this journal entry name. Make sure that you got the access to GL. Access in the sense roles. Make sure that this user, John Smith, this user should have the access to GL module. It means this user should have the access to the GL roles. What are the two roles required to access the accounting entries? One is general accountant. Another one is general accounting manager. Okay, now go to Navigator. Here itself, we can find whether you have the role access or not. Yes. If not, we have to go to Tools Menu, Security Console, attach the roles to the user, then provide the data access. In GL, data access means indirectly, it's a ledger, data access set. So this user has got the permission for your ledger, whatever we are using in account payables. Now go to Manage Journals because the journals has been posted from AP to GL module. Now we can search with either journal name or journal batch name or with accounting period. Any of these three fields we can use and we can search. Now I can see that journal has been transferred from which module? Payables module. These two fields are very important. Source and category. Source will tell us from which module the journal has been transferred. It means organ of your journal, where exactly this journal has generated. Right now, we created this journals in account payables. In account payables, you might be having different categories, purchase invoice, credit memo, debit memo, payments, right, prepayment. So category field will tell us what type of category this journal? What type of category this journal? Okay, so these two fields will tell us because accounting entries will be imported from AP module, AR module, procurement and inventory, other modules from other sources, wherever accounting entries are created, finally, it has to be transferred to GL for consolidation, revaluation purpose, okay? So we can find that information here. Let's say in GL, we are able to view the journals. I wanted to know, I wanted to know exact transaction for this particular journal. Means right now, this is a purchase invoice journal, right? This is a purchase invoice. I want to know what is the invoice number from this page. From this page, we would like to know the invoice number. How we can find, go down. We have to click on this amount. When we click on this amount, either debit or credit, it will show the transaction details. Now the system is showing your transaction number is A1. Transaction number is given and we can find transaction information. And click this button, view transaction. It will show the transaction full information. It 
contacts details. Okay, this is how we can go for navigate the details for our invoice accounting entries and check those accounts in general ledger. Okay.